Hello and welcome to UCPC, Upper Clyde Parish Church. It is good to be able to find new ways to gather together for worship, particularly in these interesting times. So it's good no matter where or when you're joining, it's good that we can gather together. And it's Jesus who calls us together, who calls each one of us to worship. So we are united in him. So I hope that you're all continuing to do all right. You're thriving as we continue in our time of lockdown. And there's been some slight easing. So I also hope that uh, with that easing that you've managed to be able to do some socially distant uh, catching up with family, with friends and with neighbours. And I hope that that's been good. Although I know it's frustrating when you can't actually hug the ones you love but it, uh, I hope, has been a good thing to be able to see them uh, in the garden or wherever you've managed to catch up. Now, it's going to still be quite a wee while before we're able to safely gather together in the church building for worship. Uh, my main responsibility is to make sure that each and every one of you are able to do that safely. Uh, uh, so I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. Um, you need to be kept safe and well. So bear with this uh, online worship for a wee bit longer. Now, Presbytery is gathering online this coming week, and this is the matter of opening churches for worship is going to be a discussion as we look further ahead to hopefully further easing of, of lockdown regulations. So very much a hot topic on presbytery. And as and when I have any details and information, I will certainly keep you all apprised of this. Now, as ever, my wee pastoral note before we begin this time of worship, if you know of anyone who might be needing any help food bank referral, uh, needing any messages uh, or to get some prescriptions uh, dropped in, picked up, dropped in, uh, or who are just who's just wanting a listening ear, you know what to do, let me know and I shall do what I can. And a big thank you to all of those of you who have been in touch and who have passed on uh, uh, messages and I've been able to act on that. So again, this idea that pastoral care is not just a minister's thing. We are all ministers. We are a pastoral care team as a congregation. So thank you for that. Now, over the month of June, we're exploring prayer, especially the types of prayer that we find in worship. And last week we began with the prayer of adoration. And as we approach God and we give God praise and give God glory, as we do that and we see how good and how perfect, how wise and how loving God is, we find that we begin to look at ourselves and we begin to realize just how far from perfect we are and how at times we're not as wise as we would wish to be and uh, how maybe we're not quite so good at this whole loving thing, this business of loving, of loving God and of, of neighbor and of loving ourselves. So in the act of seeing God's perfection, we're brought face to face with our own imperfection. So the act of adoration leads us into a time where we confess to God where we've got it wrong. So today, as we're thinking about confession and as we're thinking about turning back to God when we've got lost on the way, our readings reflect that. We're going to be hearing from shepherd turned king, King David, as we hear the words of Psalm 51 that will be read to us by Keith Black. And a little later, we'll be hearing from the New Testament, from the Gospel of Luke, uh, a story of Jesus, a parable about a shepherd and a stray sheep. That's going to be read by Morag Black, so husband and wife team today as our readers. Given our theme, it's going to be a bit more of a reflective, contemplative, quieter service than last week we're going to have a few spaces of quiet musical meditation time just to be still and to, to try and hear God, that still small voice of God. Uh, we'll be doing that through meditations using music and artwork. 
And having said that we're going to be quiet, let's do just that now. Having said all of that, let's be still for a moment as we prepare our hearts, our minds, our whole selves to meet with God in worship. Let's be still. Come to the love of God which embraces us. Come to the words of God which console us. Come to the warmth of God which revives us. Come to the music of God which inspires us. Come to the forgiveness of God which reassures us. Come to love and to praise. Come to let go of your burdens. Come to thank and pray. Come, let us worship God. Our opening hymn of praise is Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Let us sing our praises as we listen to this hymn or as we sing this hymn, a hymn that reminds us that however we gather for worship, that God is with us. <laughs> 